Right, let's turn to movies with our friend and film critic Richard Roper. Hey, Rich. We got remakes, we got reboots. Let's go. Let's All right. Do it. <laughs> First up, it's Disney's new live action version of a classic tale. Here's a clip from Peter Pan and Wendy. Bug did it. I don't think that's a bug. She is a fairy. Are you Peter Pan? Were you expecting someone else? Peter. <laughs> We're debating <laughs> who Tinkerbell oh is. Okay. We're uh, doing a scorecard. First of all, <laughs> yeah. this is a spend. And you know, you, when you watch that clip, uh, you'll see, you know, there's already a, the controversy because the Lost Boys are now, there's Lost Boys and Lost Girls. Yeah. Tinkerbell is black. And I would like to say to the people who have a problem with this, Get over it. <laughs> I mean, geez, it's 2023. If you want to watch the original, you could watch it. It's a more inclusive Peter Pan, but it's still the great classic tale. Jude Law plays Captain Hook. And you can tell the visuals here are almost grounded in reality. Obviously, there's a lot of special effects, but they filmed this in Canada, in islands off of Norway. So it kind of makes you feel like you're really in Neverland. And I love yeah. that. So, And it's got a little bit of heft to the, dram to the dramatic tension between Hook and Peter Pan, because when you think about it, they kind of need each other in a weird way, like heroes and villains always mm. do. Always mm -hmm. do. So really well done. Oh, it looks beautiful. It really yeah. does, yeah. yeah. It's stunning. Okay, up next, Are You There, God? It's me, uh, Margaret, and this is an adaptation of the coming-of-age story by iconic author Judy Bloom. Take a look, and then I'll say what I have to say. I've decided I want you to join my secret club. If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh, do you, you think you need one? Are you okay? You can tell me the truth. Ah! Fine, good, yes. We have the Campus Improvement Committee. Any volunteers? Social Committee, Fundraising Committee. <sighs> and how are you? I read that when you don't have any loved ones around, your life expectancy drops drastically, but you know, I've had a good run. All right, Rich, are we spending or saving on this? Big spend on this. Okay. Film. Did you read this as a, as a young I'm girl? sure I did, but I can't remember. Yeah. But I just recently saw an yeah. interview mm -hmm. with Judy Bloom, and she said, even though she wrote the book, she said the movie is better than the book she wrote. And the book is generational. It came out in 1970, and they actually set this in 1970. It's all about, it's universal, because it's about being an 11 or 12-year-old girl, yep. or being a mom, and you know this, and it's like, when you're 11 or 12, even if, whether you're a girl or boy, you can't wait to grow up fast enough, and your parents can't wait for you to slow down. Exactly. They're like, please, you know, it's all going to happen soon enough. And it just gets that dynamic beautifully. It's very sweet, very funny. One of the best movies of the year. Wow. And Kathy Bates, uh, one of she's my playing favorites. playing the grandma there. Yeah. Scene stealer is grandma. <laughs> no, she, is she, she's nice in this one? She's yeah. very nice. She's not, not hobbling limbs. anybody. Ever either, since yeah. misery, it's exactly. tough. No, 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 no. All right. Well, hey, for the second time in two years, we are getting a limited series about the real life case of a Texas housewife who killed her best friend with an ax. This one sounds pretty gruesome, Rich. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, we could take a skip on this uh, and, and, you know, a save because we just had Candy last year, which covered the exact same real-life 1980 case and did it a little bit better. Hmm, why do they keep remaking the same You know, story? in this case, the, the, the twin projects were going on at the same time and neither one backed down. And while we're going to go ahead with ours, we're going to go ahead with ours. Aww. Good luck to you. And the other mm. one was better. The other one was better. The first one was better. I mean, but the premise of it... It's based on a true story in 1980 where a best friend, Texas housewife, got in a fight with her friend and whacked her with an axe 40 times. Oh, 40? Spoiler, not spoiler just alert. Yeah. Right, not just once, 40 times? Wow. Jeez. She was angry. Yes. Um, last but not least, a reboot of the classic 80s psychological thriller, Fatal Attraction, is coming to... Uh-oh, you're already <laughs> signed. It's coming to Paramount Plus as a miniseries. No, don't sigh, Rich. I love <laughs> Fatal Attraction. Well, that's the thing. You can get the 1987 classic yeah. already, and they take this, and they try to put a different spin on it. And it, it's got a very good cast. But I will say the last episode of this, it made me so mad I have to go get a new remote because the other one went flying out the window. It was so irritating and frustrating and out of left field. It drove me crazy. So this, as you can guess, is actually a, is a safe. Watch the original. Know, the fact that you said that makes me want to see fine, it. Fine, fine. <laughs> Fine. I'm not watching it. Text me after. We're gonna take I a will. break. We'll be right back. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.